water are about very stable. And we'll see 7.25 increases in sewer and 1.25 increases in water, which are reflected in the fee schedule that you'll see. Um, I think that's about it. That I had mentioned a couple of updates from the original draft. Um, one, I added the Brownfield Fund, which is just a pass through to straight revenue and then expense out to the developer's reimbursement for the Brownfield project. Um, and then we're going to run the stimulus fund through the capital projects fund instead of creating its own I thought that was an appropriate use and then we'll show it transferring to general fund or ambulance or water or sewer depending on where we end up using it so those are the only two differences from what the last draft was okay. thank you we appreciate the over questions? yeah according just to get a clarification that in order to balance this this budget for fiscal year 2022 uh we do need to tip into the reserves uh can you just touch on that so it's sure. clear to everybody yep so we're going to be putting quite a bit into reserves at the end of this fiscal year because we didn't do the okay. capital projects so the majority of that will be offset so we weren't really dipping into current reserves it's the reserves that we will have at the end of 2021 correct but yes there will be some use but it's only for capital not for operating yes thank you just want to make sure that's mm -hmm. clear Going. Andrew? Yeah, Courtney, um, just a question. Wondered if you could elaborate a little bit. I know in earlier versions of the budget, um, it included a capital investment for a new fire engine. And we were fortunate um, that Representative Whitworth secured an enhancement grant mm -hmm. um, for that purpose. Can you just um, kind of brief us all on how the budget was adjusted with regard to that? Sure. Change. So originally the 2022 budget had the use of stimulus funds to pay for the aerial truck. So it was showing as a transfer in to pay for that. So once that will no longer be necessary and we want to order that in 2021, because of course, like everything, prices go up January 20, uh, 2022, we pulled that out and we'll deal with that in 2021. And so one of the other capital needs that had been identified through the capital improvement program was the engine. So we added that in its place, basically. So there's still, then there's a net positive. Of and, use of stimulus money, yes. because we were going to use, I think I had said 1.6-ish, and now it's 600, yes. Yes, okay, mm -hmm. so, so that money And remains. we'll still be using about 200, because we got 1.4 for the aerial, and it's 1.6. So we'll use a little bit, but. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Other questions for Courtney? Okay, not. Thank you, Courtney. We appreciate that overview. Anybody in the audience like to speak on the budget? Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing on the uh, budget recommendation for 2022. So I'll open up, Mary. I move the Delta Township Board adopt the budget for 2022 by appropriating funds as follows. And it lists all of the numbers general fund through water enterprise and the estimated revenues to support the appropriations above and it lists all of the revenues support then moved and supported is there a discussion say none madam clerk please call the roll on approving budget clerk clark is yes trustee cascarella yes trustee mojica treasurer Fidema. yes supervisor fletcher yes trustee bowen Yes. Trustee Brewer? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, Madam Chair. <laughs> uh, now we have public comments. <laughs> Any public comments? Mm -hmm. you know, continue on with the uh, uh, passenger ordinance is the next one. The final adoption of the small cell wireless facilities ordinance amendment <clears throat> adding article three to chapter 36 of the code of ordinances and the manager's office recommends that we uh, adopt this proposed ordinance. So what's the pleasure of the board? I move that the first. Oh, oh, but she can make a motion. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I move that the Delta Township Board adopt the proposed ordinance amendment, adding article three to chapter 36 of the Delta Township Code of Ordinances pertaining to small cell wireless facilities. The township clerk is hereby directed to publish a notice of adoption of the ordinance in local newspapers and the amendments shall become effective upon publication. Is there support? There is support. Open for discussion, Andrea. Uh, yeah, consistent with um, 
previous comments, I want to um, to avoid any appearance of conflict of interest. I would abstain from this vote because I do represent clients that are involved in communications infrastructure. Uh, and it has asked for an abstention uh, and put this vote down if we agree with that. So all those in favor of granting the abstention to Andrea due to the conflict, please say aye. Uh, aye. Yes. All those opposed say nay, motion carries. Continue now with the discussion on the ordinance. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll? Trustee Perron? Yes. Trustee Bowen? Yes. Trustee, oops, sorry. Trustee Mojica? Treasurer Fidoa? Yes. Clerk Clark is yes. Supervisor Fletcher? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, we'll continue on now with the consent agenda. What's the pleasure of the board on the items on our consent agenda this evening, Andrea? I move to approve the consent agenda as presented. Is there support? Support. There is support from Beth. Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll on approving the consent agenda this evening? Trustee Cascarama? Yes. Trustee Bowen? Yes. Trustee Brewer? Yes. Trustee Mojica? Treasurer Fidema? Yes. Clerk Clark is yes. Supervisor Fletcher? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Now we'll continue down to items of business and start with number eight, the introduction of the Ingham County Conservation Lake rezoning request in case 9-21-14. And the planning department recommends that the board introduce this. What's the player of the board this evening on this item? Fonda. <laughs> okay. I move that the Delta Township Board introduce the Ingham County Conservation League's request to rezone the property described as case number 9-21-14 from NR with natural resources to HE1 agriculture. <clears throat> I further move that the amendments be considered for final action by the Township Board at the November 1st, 2021 regular meeting. The clerk is hereby directed to publish notice of said meeting in the local newspapers as is required. Is there support? Support. There is support. Any discussion? Uh, uh, not best. <laughs> oh, I, I saw Dennis's hand. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Um, it, it because this is a conservation league that owns this. Is there? Is there any um, portion of this land that is designated as some kind of wetland or anything like that? And will that still apply? Yeah, I don't know, Brian, do you know the answer to that? Uh, I don't know, Gary would probably be the best to answer that. To my knowledge, there are no regulated wetlands on the site. There is a uh, encumbrance by the Huntington floodplain that they uh, won't be able to build anything additional in. <clears throat> they have buildings that are in the floodplain having been built 80 years ago, but state law precludes us from regulating that. In fact, the state law says they can improve any existing facilities regardless of what today's regulations tell us. So, uh, that kind of gives them a license to steal for existing. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to go through this process because they want to build something new. So. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm just curious that it was designated uh, natural resources that, you know, what, what made it natural resources and I understand that they're changing the zoning so they can build, but are we losing anything? I don't think we're losing anything. The, I think it's actually an oversight ah. that uh, this use was not permitted in the NR district. Okay. Uh, previous previous uh, ordinances did allow shooting ranges in the NR district. We did miss, the consultant missed the mark on. Okay. So, I mean, it could have went two ways. They need to move fairly quickly because they've got a grant that they uh, want to be able to use. Uh, the other way would in, uh, involve a, an ordinance, actual ordinance amendment to put it back in that district and that would have taken a little longer. So it's kind of different ways to get at the same result. I see. Okay, thank you very much, Gary. Yes. Yeah, Gary, um, I have a couple questions. Uh, first, you know, I saw in the, uh, Planning Commission's package, you know, the proposed build out and everything. Is there anticipated there's going to be more activity 
uh, because of the new facility and, and more shooting that's going on? I think that's actually the goal to yeah. make their programs more attractive so they can increase membership. Uh, they've got to take a leadership role from what I heard during the planning commission for youth programs and other other programs, among so, other programs. So the difference between this is the, uh, one of the differences is that uh, besides target practicing, there's skeet shooting because it's a bigger open area that can do that sort of thing, uh, as opposed to an indoor shooting range. And um, <clears throat> so if they're going to expand that facility, uh, I, when they have a skeet range, you know, it has to have certain distances, I presume. Right. You know, they already have all they have. They're not in uh, uh, increasing the. Uh, range capacity. It's just the building itself for meeting uh, space, classroom space to run their training program. So that's all. The, okay. It's all as far as to, to build this building to support the its administrative support yeah. to the existing activities on this. And my last question is: you know, there's the detached parcel on the west side of I ninety six sixty nine, and you know it's landlocked. And was there any discussion with the planning commission, you know, uh, including that in the um, special use uh, zoning um, well, it permit is, for that? It is included in the application for both the rezoning uh, and special I understand use, that, right? but was there any discussion on that being detached that it really can't ever be used for well, the Well, they do use it. There is a, a pathway that uh, the archers use to get to that side of the freeway. So there are some uh, faux animal targets that... So how do uh, they access that? What pathway? There, there's a pathway that was left underneath the freeway when the freeway is built um, in exchange for uh, the, the gun club essentially giving the right away to MDOT. So that's been memorialized in, in their an easement to actually have access yeah, I'm to I'm not it. sure if it's an easement or not. As far as I know it is. Yeah, so, but uh, they do have uh, a physical way to get across the freeway that they currently use okay. uh, for their archers. And I assume the gentleman is in support is, and representing the- This uh, is Mr. Kelly, who's- uh, Fantastic. Clubs. Well, I'm, I'm a supporter of the shooting sports, so I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much. All right. Any questions? Motion, please say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay, motion carries. Uh, number nine, introduction of rezoning request, case number 913. <coughs> Planning department recommends that the board introduce to Sam Frank request to rezone the property described in case 913 from O office to C commercial. What's the pleasure of the board on this uh, item? Andrea. I move that the Delta Township Board introduce Sam Frangie's request to rezone the property described in case number 09 21 13 from O office to C commercial. And I further move that the rezoning request be considered for final action by the Township Board at the November 1, 2021 regular meeting. The clerk is hereby directed to publish notice of said meeting in the local newspapers as is required. Is there support? Support. There is support. Any discussion? See none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Motion carries. Manager's report. What do you have for us this evening, Brian? Thank you, Mr. Supervisor, board members. <clears throat> uh, just a couple things. Uh, I just want to thank uh, Courtney and Colin. Uh, they pulled together today. We had a special EDC meeting. Um, we came across there was a closing uh, of a business um, and came across some old uh, documents that had never been discharged through the EDC. Um, was it 30 years ago or, or so? 2000. So we had to have a special meeting. So uh, I appreciate all their work researching it and, and Ted Drosty also to help uh, uh, facilitate the um, uh, solution to that problem so that we uh, get old paperwork cleared up. Um, just a couple of events coming up October 28th. Uh, we have uh, the second business resource open house. So that'll be at the community center. Um, also on the 28th is a community award. So uh, Please make sure you get your, your ticket. Uh, and then uh, last but not least, uh, Saturday was the last uh, day for youth uh, soccer and uh, flag football um, out at Mount Hope. But I saw on our Facebook page, if you get a chance to look at it, there's some really nice pictures. They dumped a lot of, uh, of photos today. So uh, it gives you a good idea of um, uh, our programs on that last day um, and uh, the uh, uh, number of kids that are 
participate in those. So um, but that's all I have. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Great. Are there any questions for Brian? See, no. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. Move to the committee the whole uh, discussion now. We have the annual fee schedule uh, review. I, uh, I, I can take it. Um, there's uh, the, <coughs> our annual fee schedule. We uh, look at this annually, usually around the budget time um, and then other times throughout the year if needed, uh, just kind of houses all of our uh, fees. Um, so just wanted uh, the board to be able to look at this probably of note. The, the main things are the water rates and the sewer rates, uh, uh, which a couple of years ago, um, we switch to uh, doing those increases on the basically on the calendar year in the first billing in January versus uh, we used to do those in June and July. Um, so the rates proposed for next year follow along with the rate study that we did uh, for the for both the water and the wastewater. There's some other uh, fees, some additional fees established under the new uh, small cell ordinance. Um, but otherwise are just uh, general adjustments. Um, so I wanted the board to be able to, to review those and then we'll have them on for uh, next uh, meeting for adoption. Any questions, thoughts, concerns about for anybody on the board? On that? Yes. Are these uh, increases generally the same percentage, Brian, or are they skewed somehow? You mean just in general or? Well, or I'm just looking at some of them and, you know, it's like a 50% increase, you know, in percentage wise, you know, in whole dollars, it's you know, not, not that much, but, but then in so less amount, it's like a 25% increase. So I'm seeing a, a. They're not um, just percentage based throughout. So it's going to be based on the building fees. So those are just based on you know, what they thought was appropriate, especially compared to surrounding communities that were comparable. Rick's, the, all the meter install and set fees, that was all about 20% because of our cost for the MXUs going up considerably next year. So those all went up about the same amount. Mm -hmm. The rates for water and sewer are set by the rate study. Yeah, I'm um, familiar with that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's not... It wasn't just one number applied to all, I guess. Was what yeah, I, I see that. I was just wondering what the rationale was. Yeah, that, so they uh, kind of all have their own. Yeah, and we every year, like I say, at the budget time, you know, we will adjust them throughout the year if we need to. Uh, but at budget time, Courtney sends it out all the directors. We systematically look at all of them. Uh, uh, so yeah, we don't just apply a say ten percent across the board. Right. Uh, right. Okay. Thank you. Other questions? Okay, so no questions or objections. We'll have it on the agenda on November 1st for adoption. Um, any final comments from the board members, Fonda? Yeah, I just wanted to throw a couple things out, uh, Supervisor Fletcher, to see if it's something we can consider <clears throat> for a future meeting discussion. There are two things. Um, I know in Lansing, they created an arts commission. And I thought that was such a cool idea. And I know in our strategic plan, arts was a real important thing to us. And so I'm wondering if that's, if we should consider um, a commission, an arts commission for Delta Township. Um, and there's lots of language on the city of Lansing's page about they have their bylaws and everything else. But I thought it was a fabulous idea and it's in line with our strategic plan. So I wanted to see if that's something we could put on a future agenda maybe a committee of a whole to have a discussion about that. And then the other is in line with the great work that we did with our diversity resolution. Um, I'd love to see us have a conversation about also creating a diversity, equity and inclusion commission that would help us with some of the items that we listed in that um, resolution and uh, with anything else within the the township. So those are the two commissions. I would um, ask that we could have a discussion um, at a future meeting. Thank yeah, you. I see no objections. Does anybody have any to add those in the future? Not at all. Okay. Yeah, we definitely do that. Thank you. Any other comments? Beth? Um, since we're looking at the uh, the 
sorry, the vacation holiday schedule here, it occurred to me after we looked at it at the committee the whole last time that um, perhaps in the future, not for this one, but in the future, we might consider and have discussion about offering a floating religious holiday instead of a blanket Good Friday. If there were um, employees who observed other holidays that they would like to recognize. And so I just want it for future. And that could be part of our DEI commission to take up that kind of idea. Any other comments? Our public comment. Anybody in the audience like to speak? I'll see no further business before us. We are adjourned.